Whereas like on this, you're getting the browning literally. Oh my God, this is so hot. What the hell am I doing? Every chef knows there are unbreakable rules in the kitchen, but what happens when you actually break those rules? Do the bacon gods curse you with hypertension and clogged arteries, or are they arbitrary myths peddled from chef to chef just waiting to be busted? To find out, we've assembled this highly trained team of serious culinary professionals to put them to the test, because this is Myth Munchers! Munchers. Myth Munchers. What's with the energy, man? Well, a cheerleading move? I'm trying to add a little flair to the presentation here. You ready to bust some bacon mitts today? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> All right, well, first up, what I'd create if I was the CEO of Oscar Mayer. Oscar Mayer, take note, I'm about to make you some real big money here. We got Luxables right here. It's Lunchables, but as income disparity keeps growing in America, there's gonna be a big class of ultra rich children that need Luxables. You got a beet foam, uh, pinky up, you peasant. You got some foie gras in there. Uh, then we got Lostables. These are things that I commonly lose around the office, including my silly little bracelets, my car keys, and then iPhone chargers. Also, Buffables. <laughs> Here's the thing, I'm gonna start training a legion of beefy teens to eventually break the shot put world record. That's right, 2331. Ryan Krauser, we're coming after you with Buffchables. Oscar Mayer, hit me up. I won a big golden parachute as CEO. I mean, if I fail, I'm gonna be living a high life. Jeff Bezos. What are your thoughts on the Wienermobile? That's gonna be my personal uh, armored vehicle. <laughs> will have weapons on. All right. <laughs> We got, we got bacon myths right here. You might be asking, what the heck is a bacon myth? Uh, but we found a fair amount of them because bacon cookery, it's pretty specific. We're testing out a bacon weight versus no bacon weight. There's literally a tool uh, they say you should use to smash down your bacon. We're gonna see if it works. Cold pan versus hot pan. A lot of people have been, a lot of people have been saying, a lot of crazy people have been saying. You guys remember that guy? A lot of people say that you should start with your pan cold, put the bacon in there so it starts rendering out the fat early, but like most people you taught to heat up a pan and then you put in the meat. What's the deal with that? It's crazy. Airline food? Terrible. <laughs> Next up, we're going bare pan versus greased up pan, something with a little food lube going on in there versus a pan filled with water. And then mm. next up, this is the big one. People say you should put bacon in the oven because it cooks more evenly, but also air fryers. All these people got these newfangled mini ovens. You can see if that works good versus pan, that's Spanish for bread. That's just good <laughs> with bacon versus microwaving bacon because that is actually pretty solid act. We got a lot of bacon cooker today. You ready to go home to your loved ones or video game console? And uh, what? I'm kidding. Yeah, shout out. Ah, I got him. Got him. Why am I catching strays, man? I'm I got sorry, people man. that love me. No, we all love you, Trevor. We're sure others do, I guess. Uh, we're all going to reek like bacon and I'm pretty excited for it. Y'all ready? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Where that loser of today's episode has to wear Trevor's officially licensed Valorant playing diaper so he doesn't miss out on any headshots while he has to go take a pee pee. Mm -hmm. We got to post an Instagram photo on that. <laughs> Admit only if you. If you don't want to, you don't have to. No, we have to. That's part of it. He said we have to. I can't yeah. keep it pure. No, legally, I didn't say they have to wear he a diaper. Legally, said legally it. I did not. We, we already wear this. these. Ellen, it's fine. Ellen, whose side are you on, Ellen? The diaper is gently used. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the disposables, man. Get a cloth. All right, write down your guesses. <laughs> <laughs> the prestige. All right, Lily. Okay. <laughs> You're so yeah. funny. I know. How's that working out for you? Um, I don't know. <laughs> First up, we're testing the myth of can you eat raw bacon? Lily, put a piece of raw bacon in your mouth. Don't do it, oh my gosh, she was gonna do it. I actually, I don't know if you can though, cause like it's cured. I, I think it's fine. All right, we're testing uh, bacon press. This is like a, a tool that exists that says bacon press right on it. So the idea behind this, people will call it a steak weight, not a shake weight. That's something, um, you know don't what do I mean? That, you please. Bacon weight. The idea is you are adding a weight on top of your bacon to fully flush it against the pan. That way you get more surface area distribution because everybody knows, put bacon in a pan, it starts to curl up and then some things aren't getting direct heat contact and you're kind of steaming it. You think it's gonna work? I think it is going to work. Right, it, it can't not work. There's yeah. There's a whole, yeah, it says bacon on it. It's gotta work. When, when has a tool ever failed you? So uh, we're gonna try it. We have the pans heating right now. We're gonna test out cold pan versus hot pan later. But for right now, which one did you land? It's fine. It's, we're touch. cooking, we're cooking it. Like, why would you, if you're, if this is already raw pork. This I is like the dangerous it. thing. So get that in a hot pan. Boom, bacon weight right down. Here's the thing though, the bacon weight never quite covers all the bacon. Yeah, that's true. You it know? shrinks though. I'm skeptical, but we're just gonna let these sear off for like three, four minutes until they're nice and crispy. Then we're gonna flip it and we're gonna see what the bacon weight did. 
All right, like bacon's about ready to be flipped. I'm All lifting right. up the bacon weight. Oh, and you get extra bacon juice on it. That's fun. Ooh, you should look at. No, it's okay. hot. I'm not gonna do oh, that. Okay. I don't do well with peer pressure. All right, we got some nice even browning. This is where, oh wait, hold on. This is where the bacon weight really makes its money. Cause you're seeing that yep. curl right there. Yeah. But I've seen other bacon curl up more than this is. But do but you like, like your bacon crispy or do you like it? I'm generally a floppy guy, but I get the fact that most people like it crispy. I like um, a little flop. But it all matters like the, the quality of bacon you're using, right? Yeah. If you're using a better bacon, like Coleman bacon, what spork.com, our friend Gwyneth over there ranked the best bacon, 10 out of 10 sporks. Go check out spork.com for all your grocery ranking needs. Boom, solid plug. Crushed it. This high five so high. How's yeah. your bacon doing? I think it's done. I like mine like slightly burnt edges, but still a fair amount of flop. Yeah, so you, you can. It's like the same as yours. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're we're definitely seeing like this is just flatter, <laughs> right? Like, like that's a little no brainer right there. I mean, this definitely got. I mean, more even browning, right? You got like you know right here, you're seeing like fat that didn't yeah. get direct pan contact. Yeah. So it's getting steamed. Whereas like on this, you're getting the browning. Literally, oh my god, this is so hot. What the hell am I doing? This is getting a lot more browning. However. I kind of love it. I like, yeah, I like that part. Right? Let's let this cool down for like a second. Can we do that or do we have to eat it hot? Don't make us, don't make us put it in our mouth. It'll scar us. Let's try normal bacon first. L'chaim. Mmm. I damn love bacon. Bacon. Yeah. I'm chewing on unrendered fat right now, but I'm not mad about it. I like different textures. Yeah. And doneness yeah, yeah. of my bacon. Same. And that's what that's giving me. I want to still know my bacon's meat. I fried this up pretty damn crispy. It's so crispy. This is going to be an ideological question. Well, first of all, let's put it in our mouths. We know it's going to taste like. Yeah. We went pretty far. Like, we could have pulled it earlier, but the bacon weight definitely works if you're trying to get a uniform doneness of bacon. Yeah, I agree. Now is where we have to do the soul searching mm -hmm. of saying, do we want that? Do we want to live in a society, Lily, where all bacon is cooked the same, where all of it is just blending into one homogenous thing? It's like a gated no. community filled with McMansions. No. No. I don't. I don't either. I don't want to use a bacon weight. Mm -mm. I'm never going to use it. Nope. No bacon weight is what wins for me. Yeah, I agree. No bacon weight. <laughs> All right, well, we got to tell uh, Tyler and Veronica. Trevor! V, I, I see this note, look in drawer, okay. okay. I'm going to assume it's the one that Josh usually... Ha ha, made, made you look. look. Read, it. Read it again. Oh, oh, look, look. look There's an the S. Look in drawers. What does that mean? Draws. Wait, what the f... Your drawers. What the f... It's real country of What the heck? Okay. No way. No way. Who the heck get how'd they get there? I don't know, but is Josh sneaking stuff into my drawers? Um he okay, v, you. so I apparently the bathroom area. Okay. He did, he did. He's he did. lying. Uh He's... so I guess the bacon weight's a scam. Okay. Um, yeah. Don't buy one. I don't know. Don't use uh, it. but we're testing hot pan versus cold pan. So they say when you put the bacon in, you gotta do it in a cold pan, uh, because it lets the fat render more mm -hmm. uh, and gives a better cook to the bacon. Who knows? Maybe it's all a scam. But nah. you've got your pan heating. I like when it's hot. I've got a nice cold pan, you can see because I'm putting it's not hurting. It's cold. Uh, do you want to lay some bacon in your pan? Yeah. And I'll lay some bacon in my pan and then turn it on. Lay. Ooh, this is a thick cut bacon. I don't know who did the cut on this bacon, but it's lay. thick. So V's bacon yeah. obviously done faster because it was put in a hot pan. Mine is is burning. Nearing completion. Okay. Ah! Ah! It's 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 done. I like it. You like to cook on that bacon? I do. I do. Are you a crispy bacon person or a floppy bacon person? I like crispy. Well, like now, my bacon's floppy, so now I feel bad. <laughs> no, I mean, I feel you like, just because you made it out of the kindness of my heart. It doesn't seem like there's like a lot more like fat in no. mine than yours. So visually speaking, doesn't seem to be a big difference. No. Who knows? Maybe it's all a scam. The flavor. Um, but yours did cook faster. Do you want to try the hot pan first? I would love to. All right, all right. Since that's like a, that's what I normally do. I got to feel on it a little bit. Yeah, you got to feel it up. It's a little... Kind of Get a little Just pinch up and down. Again. Yeah, it's got the like big fatty part at the end that's floppy. That's uh -huh. normal. All right, I'm going in. Okay. Mmm, some good bacon, man. It is good bacon. So nice crispiness. Yeah. I oh like that. God, this bacon. This is good bacon. Mm. Right. Good one. Cold pan. All right. All right. You ready? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Whoa, big texture difference. That one's almost a little bit crispier. I mean, it tastes crispier. It feels like the fat is almost like, I don't know. It's, hold on. Are you 
Go about the fatty side. Oh, man. Oh, God, it's all fat. <laughs> it almost feels like the fat on this is like chewier. It's on not the cold a, it, one? Yeah, it's not as tender. I think I like hot pan better. It felt like the bacon had a more even cook. This makes more sense. Like this is like what I prefer to be on like my sandwiches. Like it oh. offsets nicely. Big Maybe meat. the cured meat, the cured fat mm -hmm. in the meat reacts differently to heat and it actually gets tougher as it cooks instead mm -hmm. of rendering down into being softer. Hot pan is a winner. How should we tell them? Um, you want to sing it? Yeah. Maybe a little monkey message. Monkey message? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's she at? You just wait though. I'm going to get him back. Okay, okay. I'm going to get him back for what he did to me. Okay. <laughs> Josh, I'm uncomfortable. Really, just deal with it. I got to get it. I got to get the drawer message. What are you doing? <laughs> I found What's it. What's that? Hot pan. Oh. Oh, you can file a complaint with HR though. We take employee oh, safety very seriously. Yeah, I already have. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come at me, Ellen. Hot pan one, which that's a coup to me. I didn't think so. I thought the cold pan, it makes so much sense in theory. Yes, I thought so too. I thought it was gonna be the cold. I think the thing I've noticed with all these bacon myths is that they're all trying to prevent burnt bacon, which we found out with the hot pan that like, if you just control your heat, I say as our pan is literally smoking right now. <laughs> if you just control your heat, you cook bacon on medium, like there ain't no need to control the burning, but we'll see what happens here. So that's what the water method that you're gonna be doing is start two pieces of bacon in that pan. And then when it starts cooking, before you flip it and it starts burning, add a little bit of water to it. So that's literally gonna to stop the cooking immediately. If you ever have food burning, dump some water in it. The water will eventually evaporate out. Yep. And then we're gonna grease up a pan with a little bit of vegetable oil right here because we've been cooking the bacon in a bear pan, which there's so much fat in bacon that you know it renders out and starts cooking its own fat. But let's see if having fat in early is actually going Seems to- Seems dangerous already. Dude, what's going on with this pan? Why is it so hot? I think there's just leftover oil. That makes sense. What do you think is gonna happen? I don't know, but this one is already popping a lot. That's and good, I just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is like, a, it feels a little dangerous. Do you make a lot of bacon at home? Are you like a wake up on Saturday and like, ooh, I'm gonna make a bacon? Yeah, I feel like I'm a big breakfast person. Really? I am, yeah. Like, we're talking like classic American breakfast? A little Mexican with some tortillas ah. and some salsa, you know? Hell yeah. yeah. Wait, what's, what's your standard like Saturday morning breakfast? Some tortillas, some bacon, eggs. Hell yeah. Avocado, salsa. Dude, I'm salsa, coming over. Hot sauce. Can I? Well, can I? Should, I probably should invite myself. Yeah, over. I didn't can invite I come you, over? but no, I don't know. Yeah, you're invited. I just you live on like the exact opposite side of town. Your address is. All right, so we flipped the bear pan here. Let's see, vegetable Wait, oil. Ah, yeah, yeah, add water, add water, add water. We filled the vegetable oil. Wait, yeah, hold on. People are just Bad advocating. Oil. <laughs> People are advocating this. I That's mean, weird. I knew what's gonna happen, but I, I didn't know what's gonna happen. So in the right bear pan. You see we got some more direct pan contact, some more of those browning spots, but with this, you see a lot more direct heat coming from the oil yep. because you're still waiting for the bacon fat to render when you put the bacon in the pan, right. right? You get a hot vegetable oil, you're gonna get that crispy fried texture immediately. And you do see a significant difference between the two right here. Yep. You reckon either of these are gonna taste better than the other? I don't know. Me either, either, man. Similar. Find out. I got these bacon zone. What's the water bacon looking like? It's Taking a lot longer. Yeah, I guess that's, I reckon that's the I'm point gonna though, flip right? It and then I'll flip it back. Yeah, so I mean, the water does like stop the cooking process, but like I love boil, <laughs> boiled bacon is the thing. Oh. Like in Ireland, they eat boiled bacon. Like uh, maybe not now, I don't imply that every Irish person's eating boiled bacon all the time, but yeah. boiling bacon is a thing, or even like dropping like a, a pork belly into soup, you know, right. stuff like that. Yeah, I like putting bacon in my soups. So I mean, maybe this will kind of, maybe the water in the steam will actually help soften it. Yes. Maybe a little more tender bacon. Find out. Okay, I'm taking off my water bacon. Finally, um, I'm bored. I know, that took a lot longer. It took a lot longer. Um, I don't know, you noticing any differences here? Not really. I, mean, I kinda see. Yeah, I mean, you get more even browning with like the oil already starting in the pan. Yep. But I don't know if that actually matters. And the water bacon. I mean, this is interesting. Doesn't look much different, does it? Those look very similar. But yeah, this one's like even like a little bit straighter. Let's try it. Okay. Let's try the, uh, yeah, this vegetable oil pan one. Tastes like bacon. I think you get a little bit more of that like deep fried, mm -hmm. oil laden. I don't want to call it like Maillard reaction, but it's that it's that browning flavor that you get with high heat oil cooking. Yeah, I actually think it is like a little bit more oily, not in a bad way, but like yeah. I can, when I crunch it, it's like a lot oilier. Well, I'll try it against the constant. Well, let's finish with the water bacon. 
To me, this is immediately better for a very specific reason. Why? You taste bacon right off the bat more than when you, the textures, I mean, I, I prefer this texture. Like you get more of that like immediate crispiness from that. That's mm -hmm. not necessarily what I completely want. I'm tasting the vegetable oil on that. Oh yeah. Which is to say I'm tasting less bacon, right? Yeah. Now the water, that's interesting because vegetable oil, fat can mute flavors. It can carry flavors, but it can also mute them. Water is just gonna evaporate. This should be pure bacon essence. I'm not, I have so many bacons in my mouth. Give me a sec. This is different. I feel like it's chewier. It is chewier, why? It's like tougher. What the is this heck? the same reason as the cold pan versus hot pan? What's in the pan for longer? Dude, this is so chewy, it, it, it must be. Like I'm thinking of when you're cooking with like guanciale, right? Which is a very, very heavy cure. This might be bacon specific because there's cured and there's uncured bacon, which one has to do with whether or not there are nitrates in it, but also like, I don't know, to me, there's not that big of a difference. But to me, the thing that's working the best, it's just, the, it's the bare pan at high heat. It's normal. I agree. Gotta communicate to, to Trevor and V. Um, don't we have a new intern? Intern! Check the intern's drawers. Oh, the He's drawers? stealing office supplies. Sorry. I know it, I see Gordon stealing pens. Don't worry, Gordon, I'm certified. It says bear. Bottom. He's been stealing <laughs> bears. Wowzers in me drawers, here, am Gordon. I right? You're a valued member of this team. No, right. he's not. If you're cooking bacon in a pan, the bear method does work uh, better than anything else. But what if you're not cooking bacon in a pan? So that's why we're doing the oven bacon. We got that bringing in. We're doing air fried bacon. We also got straight up microwave bacon. And we're gonna see Woo! which one actually makes the best hot. pig strips. Careful, <laughs> putting a hot tray down <laughs> here. Oh, oh, look at this. Clave. I didn't get this far. <laughs> Can you chopstick my bacon? Yeah, I don't know what happened to our tongs. The microwave one shrunk up like a lot. Cause it that's did. that's gonna be the fastest cooking method, go. right? Yeah. yeah. But also like that's just gonna render the fat. So it's effectively just frying itself, but at an incredibly high heat. Bear pan, we're getting all that direct heat contact. We see that we've eaten, I don't wanna eat any more bacon. We know. have to. Oh, feel I feel good. I feel like my eyes are bloated. You got four yeah. more slices in you, buddy. Come All on. right. Four more, so you don't have to bite Where the whole thing. Just starting? take one little nibble. Not up for shut up. Air fried bacon. <laughs> this is oven fried bacon, except you're not getting it cooked in its own grease because it's circulating the air and draining at the same time. That's interesting then. Oven fried bacon is just sitting static in a pool of its own fat. Love it. That's how I want to go out. Love baby. it. Just in Palm Springs, melting in my own fat, <laughs> reading, reading a book. Not Palm Springs. Uh, all right, what should we start with? Let's start microwave, microwave. dude. Yeah. Holy smokes here. You want me to pass it out? Let me stop seeing your bacon. Good. <laughs> good job, Lily. Oh man. Oh, oh yeah. No. Oh, no. Oh, I take it back. I take it oh, back. That's oh, that's so bad. That's oh. plastic bacon. There's things like bacon that's been sitting in a Quiznos, one that no one's walked into for like 16 days, and they're like, oh, we never had to change out the bacon. <laughs> it does. Quiznos is still open? It's like someone <laughs> laminated the bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I love Quiznos. Quiznos sponsor. Tell those, baby. Air fried bacon. Thank These are you. all cooked to like pretty much the same doneness. I don't. I don't know. This is a little, little yeah, brown. Little, little this is like brown. pretty freaking brown, but it's not crispy. No, it's got some definite flop. flop to it. I like it. It tastes raw in a good way. That was it's interesting tiny. though because it's it tiny. got brown, but it didn't get as crispy as as the pan, right? This is actually like kind of my ideal bacon texture because yeah. I like it. Really? I don't want it to be super floppy, but I want it to still have like a little bit of flop and chew to it while having yeah. some crispy bits. I and mean, this is hitting all that for me. Uh-oh, I don't- I agree, Trevor. I do not want the air fryer to win. I am like a Why? Rush, I'm like a Russian judge in 1994 while a Slovakian gymnast is on the bars, baby. Are you like that's, that's real specific? Fryer? Is that too specific it's of a too reference? too specific. Love it. This just looks like worse air fried, right? <laughs> Take my chopstick like like bacon. Better air fried. Definitely even this is this is given like greasier. <laughs> this is given bacon press from round one. I don't like this grip. <laughs> I mean I like it. Dang. Uh oh. Is this better though than the air fryer bacon? This is way better. Mm -hmm. This it is more of my more like bacon. You know why it tastes more like bacon? It's, it's chewier. Sitting in the bacon grease. It's sitting in bacon grease. Uh, it's it's like chewier though. I like bacon like that. It's almost too uniform though. That's my only knock against it. I, mm. Let's try the original. Try the original. Try You dance with the date that you brung. All right? Okay. I never do that. Hmm. <laughs> nah. Come on. I don't know, man. Come on. I don't know. 
kind of with Lily and V on this. Sorry, buddy. Man, wait. So what? Y'all are officially declaring a winner. I think yeah, the three of us all prefer oven. Oven? Yeah, oven. Yeah. I think I prefer by a slim margin the slight irregularities in that like crispiness, that direct fat, like crispy yielding to chewy yeah. of a pan fried bacon. But I, I was actually impressed at how well the oven bacon held up and how much better it was in the air fryer. And my God, microwave bacon. That Don't is do terrible. It. Don't do it, it's bad. It's so bad. Extreme cheesecake bacon. If you get the the, the like pre-cooked stuff, the Oscar Mayer, microwave that, whatever, but man, microwave and raw, that is rough, brother. Men munchers. Yeah. How are you feeling? Uh, the blood is coursing so slowly through my body. I <laughs> feel it moving through, like trying to wring icing out of a piping bag. <laughs> As we've learned today, man, should eat vegetables are good, and we also learned that bacon weights do what they're supposed to, it just doesn't make any better bacon. We found out that the cold pan myth, if you're using cured bacon, it's actually gonna make your bacon tougher, so keep that pan hot. We found out that the bare pan works better than a greased up pan, and the water method doesn't really do anything. The longer you cook bacon, the more indirect heat, the kind of tougher it becomes. And then we found out ultimately uh, that oven baked bacon is the best. Actually, I even came around. I know I said I prefer the pan, but then I ate some more off camera and was like, mm, this is good. The oven baked bacon method, you don't put it in an air fryer, don't drain the grease from it, let it confit its own fat. That is going to make the best bacon. But that said, pan was a pretty close second for me. And if you're microwaving your bacon, you gotta reassess your life. Like I get, <laughs> I get it's quick, but like if you're microwaving your bacon, you just don't got time to eat bacon, have some oatmeal or something, you know, pick it back up the next morning when you got time to bake it or fry it in a pan. <clears throat> oh, I'm so out of breath. Lily, <laughs> Lily, how many did you get right? Wait, cold, bare oven. I got two right. Driver? Hi, I guess bacon weight. Uh, hot pan, bear pan, and pan. I got two as well. It's pretty solid in V. Bacon weight, hot pan, burr, oven, bacon weight champion. I got three. Josh, you? I guessed weight, cold pan, water, and then back to the pan, and I drew a sandworm from Dune. Timothy Shamalap, come on the show. How many did you think I got right? One. Okay, that's a good guess. I... Zero. Yeah, Lily's the winner, because I... <laughs> What is that? I got, I went over. This might be the first batting 0 hundred of all of Myth Munchers, everyone. What's that hairy thing over there? This is either Lake Superior or a piece of bacon, depending on which way it's flipped. Uh, no, I, I thought the bacon weight would work. Now I gotta take uh, an, an Instagram photo in this diaper. What's new? Um, well, I think we learned a lot today. I actually learned a lot about bacon cookery, things that I wouldn't expect. And that's what we're really trying to do with this series. You know, it's trying to educate people on the fact that you know, the Velvet Revolution happened in 1992 when Czechoslovakia split up into the Czech Republic and Slovakia. And that was, of course, three years after the Berlin Wall fell. Uh, and so, you know, w w when you're talking about former Eastern Bloc states gymnastics programs, I don't think the judges should have any bias because that's the beauty of sports is that, you know, everyone's sort of on an equal playing field. Um, Anyways, comment below if you'd like uh, more political commentary on either formerly Slavic or Soviet states and their sports programs. Listen to our podcast, A Hot Dog is a Sandwich, to hear me and Nicole dissect the internet's most controversial food questions, airing every Wednesday wherever you get your podcasts.